Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your Angel Card reading for the month of January. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Cancer, I decided to switch it up this month instead of doing messages from your spirit guides. I'm doing an Angel Card reading for this month. So I may or may not continue this uh, series. I may just focus on love readings bi-weekly. I may also discontinue the general readings. So you can let me do know down in the comments below if you would like me to continue do doing those types of readings along with the love readings. And I, if I do continue this type of reading, I have been thinking of changing the theme every month. So one month it may be a uh, messages from your spirit guides or angels or wisdom, you know, wisdom of the earth reading or animal spirit animal reading or something like that. But I may or may not continue this or the general readings. And depending how the weekly element readings go, um, I may discontinue those also. I may give it a few more weeks as they're not getting a lot of views. So I'd rather do what you guys would want to see rather than, you know, and I do love doing all readings, but if you enjoy the love readings more, then that's what I want to give you guys. And maybe down the road in the future, as the channel grows, uh, maybe I'll add those readings back. But we'll see how it goes. Let me Again, let me know down in the comments and um, tell me what you think. So welcome, Cancer. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year. All right, so let's get some angel messages for cancer so the deck here i have is the guardian angel here is the archangel and the, there is the crystal angels and then i'll clarify each card with one tarot card all the decks are listed below if you're interested in the decks i'm using tons of stuff down there in the description box if you want to check that out um how to reach out for personal reading social media links tons of uh stuff down there if you like to send a gift or if you like to tip or donate all that stuff is down there so Feel free to check that out. So I'm going to pull about three um, cards here. And I just noticed my thing is filthy here. Okay. Three cards from each deck. And then we'll go over them with a tarot. So let's get three from this deck. And thank you to everybody for all your support really means a lot to me, whether you've tipped or donated, if you've sent a gift, reached out for personal reading, if you are a new subscriber, whatever you've done to uh, support the channel is truly, truly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you, thank you. So let's get three of these for Cancer. And these two just wanted to fly out, so I feel those two. And also, Cancer, I have the Angel Answers uh, deck here also, so I want you to think of a question that you would like answered from your Angel team can be any kind of question about anything um, you may want an answer to. We may get an answer. We may get advice or guidance towards your question. So um, think of something, and at the end of the reading, I'll pull one of those angel cards and see what we get for, for whatever you have in uh, mind at this time. So let's get three of these for Cancer, please, at this time. Three messages for cancer okay let's see what we have from the guardian angel and i may read from the book with these so we have inspiration being an inspiration getting inspiration ascension spiritual ascension and we have knowledge gaining knowledge learning growing giving knowledge gaining knowledge so let's see inspiration here uh, just going to read. So if there's a message here for you. So we have here the word inspiration means breathing in to be inspired. You need to breathe in the energy of the universe to expand your awareness of the world around you. The angel of inspiration encourages you to do this so you can find fresh ideas for creative activities or simply for daily life. The best place to seek this energy is in nature. I just want to make sure I'm reading the right card. Okay. If you feel the need to kindle your imagination, find a garden or a peaceful place, sit down and relax. Breathe deeply and let go of any tension. Focus on the flora and fauna around you. Ask the angel of inspiration to enhance your sense of all the colors, textures, and sounds. You will be amazed at the richness of your perceptions and your thoughts will take wing. So that's getting, some of you may just need to get out in nature more. <laughs> 
get out in nature more. I mean, you may find that inspiration uh, in nature and animals. So that falls under, um, let's see here. I'll tell you which angel that falls under. They're all color themed for each. So that's Archangel Gabriel, if you want to look into more about that. So now we have Ascension, which is Archangel Uriel. And let's see, read a little bit about that. So we have here Ascension. Each of us is on a spiritual journey through life with the goal of coming closer to the divine. Some steps in this journey may occur as life-changing events. Others may be smaller, simpler experiences in everyday existence. The angel of ascension signals that you are about to take a huge step upward in your soul's journey. You may become more sensitive to the energies around you, including angelic energy. You may feel no need for guidance. You may feel no need for guidance from other people. Coincidences may occur to hasten, hasten you on your path. Call on the angel to support you and make the process more joyous. Ask for help. Ask her to help you to get to let go of fear and see the divine in everything. Aim to bring awareness and love to all you do. So wow, spiritual ascension, angelic ascension, having that team around you. So now we have knowledge, which is Archangel Raphael. So here, so you have three different angels here, guardian angels. So this is under Archangel Raphael, but this card knowledge. Learning is not just a matter of gathering facts. It also involves being attuned to the world around you so that you can broaden your awareness and build a store of experience to nourish your intuition and wisdom. Possibilities for increasing your knowledge can appear in any form from a course of study or training to the, uh, to the chance to pursue a hobby in greater depth. Perhaps a particular person, experience, environment, or book opens up new avenues of thought for you. Take the opportunity if it excites you, even if the timing feels a little strange. The angel of knowledge counsels you that this learning is an integral part of your journey in life and that he will support you in your endeavors. So if you're thinking about gaining knowledge about something, learning something new, I think angels here are telling you to uh, do it. And if it's about spiritual ascension or learning about spirituality, angels, you know, if you've been wondering about it, if they've been inspiring you lately, then uh, this is probably your message that you probably need to really um, look into that. Okay, what do we have here from the Archangels, Divine Order? Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So whatever's going on in your life right now, it's meant to be. It's meant to happen the way it's happening. Even if it doesn't feel like it's right, it doesn't seem like it's right. You know, you just can't see why it's happening. Divine Order is here to say, yep, it's supposed to be this way. And then we have Victory, Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So victory, victory something, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been asking about, they've been heard and answered. If you don't think they have been, uh, just have faith, hope, optimism. That some sort of victory will come in here. And it's divine order. Divine victory. <laughs> wow, okay. And we have, remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So don't forget who you are. Um, it, Michael is supporting you here, Archangel Michael. And you are a child of God. And everybody is powerful, loving, creative. And be true to who you are. And don't lose faith in who you are. Say, we got the crystal angels here, Emerald. Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as a such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. So you may have some sort of ceremony or celebration coming up for you. And then we have Apophilite, I guess you say it. Increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an to an abundance of help and opportunities. So you could be getting increased support from your angels. Your spirit guides, family, friends, co-workers. And we have here Sodalite. Socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded 
people. So if you've been thinking about joining a social group or something like that, then uh, it's telling you to do it here. You know, it could be a social group. It could be anything, you know. I think your angel team is telling you uh, to socialize and join in in some way with like-minded people. But it says healthy and supportive. So I don't think they mean, you know, drinking buddies or anything like that. But that uh, angel does look like she's drinking. So I don't know. Okay. So let's get a tarot card here for each uh, card to give a little more meaning. And don't forget to think of your question. And I'll pull an angel answers at the end to see what we get for whatever you have in mind right now. So let's get one card for each here. I do ask Cancer, especially if you're new, you like how I read my energy. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, like I said, I do uh, right now four different readings a month. Plus the I do with the energy element energy uh, forecasts for the week. But I may be just doing uh, love readings from now on. I'm not sure. But you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And if you do, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to hit the bell. So let's see inspiration. Let's get one for ascension. One for knowledge. One for divine order. Victory. Remember who you are. Let's get a couple here for these get one more okay i'll go over the bottom of the deck also so here we have inspiration wow we have temperance so that's a nice energy so it's an energy of balance and healing and patience and you see her tempering energies here uh it's a really nice energy it almost looks like the same sort of uh angel so i think by getting out in nature Find whatever inspires you. If it's not nature or animals, whatever you do that you find inspiration in, I think you need to focus back on that because I think it'll bring you a lot of healing and balance kind of energy. Uh, may make you feel more patient with yourself and those around you and will really um, even out your energies. I'm getting with that. All right. So we have Ascension and we have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like being in this loving, caring, um, moving forward in a very loving, caring, compassionate kind of energy, um, you know, ascending to like another level of like love and compassion and peace and harmony, like realizing, you know, your, your own peace and harmony and value in your own spiritual ascension and rising above like toxic energy also and just being like you see like this glowing light here just being in a very like high vibration and that loving compassionate energy moving forward just peace harmony so we have knowledge and <laughs> the page of pentacles well that just suits that card so much because the page of pentacles is about can be about learning something new it can be um can be about something stable coming in news of stuff something stable coming in or you know going out but it also can be a page is very young youthful something in the early stages so that can be about learning something new since pentacles are about monetary material career you know um learning something new or something like that so yeah gaining new knowledge here at the page of pentacles learning something new definitely here it may take you know pentacles is a slow practical approach but uh, I think you'll be all the more, uh, more wiser for that. So you have divine order here, Archangel Ragula. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order. And you're not going to believe the card I have here. The sun. So if things look dark and gloomy right now, you just see the clouds right here. And you're like, I don't see how, you know, this is divinely meant to be. Whatever you're going through right now, just know the outcome. Once you get past the illusion, how everything looks right now. Look at your outcome as the sun is the most positive card in the deck. Happiness and joy, success and victory, enlightenment, healing energy, growth and expansion, happy home and family. Everything, everything positive with the sun. So that's a good energy. So just know this is divinely guided, divide, divinely guided energy, whatever you're going through. If you're going through something right now where you don't see how there could be a positive outcome, the sun is here to say, Oh, yes, there will be. So 
And then we have here victory, arc, and that's the victory. Sun is victory. It's everything, every aspect of life. The sun represents that positive, positive out, <laughs> positive aspect of life. Everything. That's the sun energy. So we have victory here. Archangel Sandalfun, open your prayers. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So it's a queen of swords, and that's a sword of victory that she's holding there. And whenever I get, for me as a reader, the king or queen of swords or even the ace of swords, to me it just is like divine energy raining down the truth, sword of truth and victory, clarity upon the person watching this. So I do feel like this is divine saying, yes, there will be victory and your answer, prayers have been heard and answered. Just have faith, hope, and optimism. That truth, clarity will come. Uh, the sort of victory here, um, being able to stand up for yourself, not taking any BS, telling it like it is, open, honest, truthful communication. That time will come victory here. So, or if you've been thinking about, you know, speaking your mind about something, I see that it, it probably would be the wise thing, the best thing to do. Okay, so we have remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. And oh, I almost dropped my card. So we have the Six of Pentacles. So it's a very uh, balanced energy, Six of Pentacles. It's all about balanced, balance. So, um, so just know that, you know, your life can be, just remember who you are, and your life can be very balanced if you choose to make it that way. Just remember your power, who you are, how God made you, and your own energy, and then you are loved, you can love, you can have equal give and take here, reciprocation in everything, and be very balanced. You have two cards of balance here, with temperance and the Six of Pentacles, so... All right, so let's see who, what we have here. Ceremonies and celebrations, emerald. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, and graduations and anniversaries. So the Knight of Pentacles. So some people may be getting proposed to, or you may be actually going to a wedding or something in the fall um, or something like that. So look at the energy here, how it's the same. Wow. So <laughs> I just noticed that. Some of you could actually be getting married in the fall, going to a wedding in the fall, or some kind of ceremony in the fall, being proposed to in the fall, or something like that, or some kind of celebration or something I'm getting in the fall. And it's something very stable, grounded, secure. It's a good energy. All right, so we have Apophilite, increase support, your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundant help of abundance of help and opportunities page one so this is good news coming in so this could be you know it's kind of wands are always like fiery passionate energy but it doesn't have to be like in a romantic way it could just be very exciting energy it can be good news coming in it can be um news of a project endeavor or something like that or just people you know saying hey you need some help you know or getting good news from people around you that want to support you in some way or they're supporting you in what you're doing so that's a good energy so we have here soda light socialize or join in make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people we have, yes <laughs> wow so the hangman is someone who kind of like doesn't take action they kind of sit back just kind of observe and gain perspectives and don't really do anything. They just, you know, kind of hanging back. So you may be someone that just doesn't really join in, just kind of hangs back and, you know, just kind of watches and doesn't really, you know, participate. But spirit, I think, uh, spirit, okay. <laughs> Your angel team is trying to tell you here, it's time to get out of the stagnant energy and socialize and join in in some way, whatever that means for you. So if you've been thinking about doing that, because the hangman thinks and gains pers perspective, but eventually they come out of that hangman energy. So I think there, if there's something you've been wanting to socialize in or do or participate in or join, I think you should do it. You know, maybe, you know, learn a little bit first before you just jump right in. 
that could be your energy. You want to learn more about it before you join in. But I think you should give it a try here. So what do we have on the bottom? The High Priestess. So this is trusting your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. But the High Priestess is divinely connected. But she kind of keeps to herself. She doesn't talk much. So you may be quiet and shy. And that's why you don't want to join in there. Um, but the King of Wands energy is a very fiery king or queen, fiery, passionate energy, go-getter. They go after what they want, a lot of drive, ambition. So you have like two opposing energies, like the High Priestess keeps to themselves, but the King of Wands goes after what they want, a lot of uh, drive and ambition. And then we have the Four of Swords, that's taking a break and healing about something um, kind of energy. So, but then getting the courage and the healing that you need to go after what you want after being quiet for so long. So if that resonates with some of you. So let's get an answer to your question, Cancer. What does Cancer, whatever your question is, whatever advice or guidance you need, you're thinking of at this time. Let's see what we can get for you, Cancer. All right, what can we get for Cancer Spirit, please? Can we get one card for, oh, I guess that's your card because it didn't want to come out of my hand. Ask for for help from others. So, and that just fits in here with increased support, socialize and join in. So I really think here, um, if it's not asking for help, that's joining in and socializing. So there's something here, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask. So, I mean, we have weight on the bottom here too, so I don't know what that means either, but some have weight and some ha have, so maybe you've been waiting, you know, to use that sword, because you see, the sword, it's the same sword there. So whatever you've been waiting on, I feel like uh, there's going to be a victory in its divine order. And if some of you need to ask help from others, whatever it may be for you, don't be afraid to do that. Okay, Cancer, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.